Want to make a big name on YouTube? Just make sure you know about good production values, and then just simply follow one of these two easy formulas. You'll be on your way in no time. Number one, be mean. Be really mean. And do ponage videos constantly. Make fun of the way they dress, the way they do their hair. Make fun of their appearance in general. Make fun of their voice and the way they talk, their accent, the way their face looks when they pronounce certain words. Immediately put them in a certain category because they used a certain phrase. Or immediately put them in a category because of the way they look. This is very important. It doesn't really matter if you actually address the points of their video. If you make fun of enough other things, that will make up for it completely. And remember, be relentless about it. Kizum crushes you. Hey there, all of my wonderful crushed people out there. How the fuck are you doing? As we know, there are always some idiots out there, and I'm here to crush them. There's a fucktard named Angry Bastards. Hi, everyone. Yes, I can see he's so angry. I'd be angry too if I had that haircut. Hey, look, it's a brunette peewee. Hopeless, hopeless, hopeless. This guy has a problem with regular folk. This is a Rini's book. Oh, well, congratulations. Do you want a medal or something? I was gonna read it off a week we seriously have a off a week we seriously have a off a week we seriously have a Who the fuck taught you how to talk? Did you run it from this guy? If you polish a unicorn horn long enough, it gives you magical unicorn mayonnaise. That's what I use to make these sandwiches. But the book is so fucking bad. How bad was it? Dumb Dora is so dumb. How bad is she? I tell you how dumb she is. She sent her cultured pearls to blank. And boring. And David for trial did warn me about how boring and bad it was. So I thought of a few ideas that came to mind this week. One, the first one was mailing it to I Y Y. To I Y Y Y what? And having him videotape himself burn it on a live stream. But that would cost money to ship to China. I wanted to tie my shoes, but it was too expensive to, to get the Super Bowl tickets. Which I don't have. So I thought of the next best thing to do. I'm going to be shredding it. Shredder, you nincompo! And here we go! It's two snaps up. Arini's book, folks. So how do you write phonetically that sound... <laughs> Arini's book. Just a pile of shit. Just like the Sarkeesian Effect, or the alleged sequel of the Sarkeesian Effect. Angry Bastards, out. Two snaps and wipe your mouth. Number two. Do you know which subjects make people really angry when you talk about them a certain way? Know a hot-button issue that never stops offending people? Then you're on your way to YouTube goodness. Just find out how to say those things in either the most nonchalant way possible, or as smug as possible, or state it as if it's a known fact by the whole world, and if you don't agree with it completely, then you're a bigot. Then make sure you disable the comments section and hide the ratings as well. Then ask for money in every video and say it will be used to do research. Do you ever get triggered by the patriarchy, where straight men never leave the toilet seat down and oppress women? Straight men need to think about women. It's not right that men get jobs that women don't want. I mean, really. All men are misogynistic. All white people are racist. All cis people are transphobic. Deal with it. Check your privilege. You better not take up more room with your legs than you need. Really? So to quote what men tell us when they want to control our reproductive organs, shut your fucking legs. One more way you can make money is by doing all of the things above, but in a shock jock type of format, where you have a panel of people who will always fill the airtime with some useless comment that matches one of the two easy formulas, and you'll be sure to get views. Remember, the days of getting a lot of views for being reasonable, level-headed, adult, and being intelligent about subjects is long gone.
at the very least, you need some sort of gimmick. Like never showing your face in particular ways, like always showing a statue as if the statue is talking, or some sort of cartoon of some sort that represents you. This way it insulates you from being critiqued in the same way as one of the two easy formulas. This is why most people who were originally known for making level-headed, reasonable videos are no longer making videos. There's no payoff to that anymore. You must bring things up in a mean way. Or you have to find ways of purposely making people angry. The idea and prospect of making money on YouTube has caused people to become culturally regressive. Like we're all back on that elementary school playground. You're either a bully or you're being bullied. When YouTube first started, it used to be more like some of the lyrics to the song Sweet Dreams by the Eurythmics. Some of them want to use you, some of them want to get used by you, some of them want to abuse you, and some of them want to be abused. But now it's just the second half of that section of verses. It's about abusing or being abused. It makes money. So have a fantabulous day and don't let the oppression Olympics hit you on the way out. Thanks.